when we talk zero hunger, we should always remember that it is not just the food, but it's nutrition that uh, makes humanity. Uh, with this, I want to conclude by saying that I trust that the findings from the review will be used to enrich government's current nutrition and food security, um, um, the related strategies like planning for food and jobs, one district, one factory, and one village, one dam, among others. On my part, I'm privileged to be part of a couple of initiatives which I hope to use to support Ghana in achieving its zero hunger and more nutrition. I'm very happy to be here, and on behalf of the entire UN system in Ghana, I would like to congratulate the government, the John K. Kufour Foundation, the researchers, and my colleagues in the World Food Program for their hard work for completing the Zero Hunger Strategic Review Report and for organizing this official launch today. I would also like to take this opportunity to commend the government for its continued commitment to localize the sustainable development goals and to see this strategic review as a foundation for its strategy to meet SDG 2 on ending hunger and promoting sustainable agriculture. I also appreciate that the review rightly commends Ghana for significant strides that have been made in reducing food insecurity and malnutrition over the years. We have celebrated Ghana's success in achieving the Millennium Development Goal to have the proportion of the population who suffers from hunger. The Sustainable Development Goals are more ambitious, and Ghana has accepted among its SDG priority targets to further reduce prevalence of undernourishment and of stunting, and to expand school feeding programs, among other targets. I want to thank warmly the John A. Kufour Foundation, created by the great Ghanaian statesman, the second president of the Fourth Republic, His Excellency John Ajikum Kufour, and the World Food Program for the opportunity to be a part of this important event, the launch of the Ghana Zero Hunger Strategic Review Report. Ladies and gentlemen, my presence here this afternoon is also born out of the fact that as co-chair of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals Advocates Group of Eminent Personalities, my duty is to help mobilize political support for the realization of the 17 SDGs, which present our generation with a historic opportunity to eradicate global poverty and hunger, address the challenges of environmental sustainability, achieve quantum leaps in the economic well-being of millions of people, and ensure that no one is, in fact, left behind. We recognize that when people are well fed, they will be healthy and will then be able to undertake activities in the productive and transformative sectors of society. When we are thus told that some 800 million people across the world suffer from hunger, with a number expected to reach some 2 billion people by 2050, then collectively, we have the onerous responsibility of helping to ensure that we, and I quote, end hunger, achieve food security, and improve nutrition, and promote sustainable agriculture, unquote, which are the words of SDG 2. For us in Ghana, we have performed arguably quite well in our efforts at reducing hunger. Indeed, we were the first country on the African continent to attain the Millennium Development Goal number one of halving poverty and hunger, for which the, the country received an award, quote, for reducing the level of its malnourished population from seven million in the early 1990s to less than one million today, unquote.
The principal architect of this feat was President Kufo, who rightly in 2011 <laughs> received the World Food Prize for cutting hunger in half during his tenure as president. Nonetheless, issues of hunger, malnutrition, obesity, and micronutrient malnutrition remain in some parts of the country. That is why achieving zero hunger, as outlined in SDG2, is important, not only for those of us gathered here, but also for the entire nation. With the support of the World Food Program and the John A. Kufo Foundation, the Ghana Zero Hunger Strategic Review Report, which we are launching today, will help the country chart a sustainable path to ending hunger, food insecurity, and all forms of malnutrition by 2030. The enlightening report addresses the following concerns and issues. Firstly, causes and peculiar situations of hunger, food insecurity, and malnutrition in Ghana. Secondly, government's role at national, regional, and district levels in tackling these problems in Ghana. Thirdly, national and international food security and nutrition policies, strategies, programs, and projects implemented in the past and possible gaps to be addressed to attain zero hunger and malnutrition by 2030. Fourthly, gender and social protection matters impacting hunger, food insecurity, and malnutrition and the gaps to address. And fifthly, prevailing food systems or combinations of them that could be made more sustainable, ecosystems friendly, and resilient to rapidly changing climatic conditions. Government, towards similar ends, has, in the Coordinated Program of Economic and Social Development Policies, submitted to Parliament on the 13th of December last year, in accordance with Article 36, Clause 5 of the Constitution, and launched last month on April the 11th, proposed the reformation of agriculture and industry, spearheaded by programs such as Planting for Food and Jobs, covering some 500,000 farmers this year, up from 200,000 last year. The One District, One Factory Policy, and the One Village, One Dam Initiative. These programs, amongst others, will facilitate rural development and help achieve SDG 2 by 2030. Government's vision is to modernize agriculture, improve production efficiency, achieve food security, and profitability for our farmers, all aimed at significantly enhancing agricultural productivity. The basic objective of policy is to guarantee food self-sufficiency, i.e. that we are able to feed ourselves and wean us of the disgraceful dependence on the importation of foodstuffs we can grow ourselves. We are determined to stand on our own feet. Hence our mantra, Ghana Beyond Aid. To ensure food security and promote improved nutrition, government is implementing some interventions, including institutional measures to prevent food losses, such as the district warehousing policy, promoting the production and utilization of locally grown and nutrition-rich food, strengthening early warning and emergency preparedness systems, developing and implementing a nutrition strategy which adopts a life cycle approach to deal with malnutrition at all levels. Redu reviewing and scaling up the regenerative health and nutrition program 
eliminating child and adult obesity, and promoting research and development in food and nutrition security. Ladies and gentlemen, when you consider that women are the first line educators of our children, our communities, our nations, our region, and our continent, it is obvious that we empower our children and communities by empowering our women. We all appreciate that our women play a key role in achieving food security and improved nutrition. That is why my government has initiated women-specific measures to facilitate the achievement of SDG2. These include reducing cultural and administrative limitations that imp impede women's access to productive resources, particularly access to credit and agricultural equipment. The Maslock program has in this respect been directed to disburse 50% of its loans to women engaged in small-scale farming and businesses. Again, the Ghana School Feeding Program, a happy product of the Kufour era, which provides hot meals daily to pupils of basic schools, has also been expanded from 4,881 institutions to cover 5,528 institutions in this last year. Whilst the Livelihood Empowerment Against Poverty, LEAP, which provides stipends to vulnerable households, has been nearly doubled to cover some 213,000 households. All these are being done with SDG2 in mind. The 15-member Interministerial High-Level Committee on the Implementation of the SDGs, which I inaugurated on 7 December last year, will not only facilitate coordination of activities and, in, and interventions on nutrition and food security, but will also harmonize policies and strategies on meeting SDG2. Ladies and gentlemen, in seeing to the realization of the Coordinated Program of Economic and Social Development Policies for the period 2017 to 2024, Ghana will be on the path towards ending hunger and malnutrition. Our goal is to build a wealthy and self-confident Ghana that is in charge of its economic destiny, a transformed Ghana that is prosperous enough to be beyond needing aid, which engages competitively with the rest of the world through trade and investment. We are determined to build a new Ghanaian civilization that will afford a dignified standard of living to all its people. Let me thank once again the J.A. Kufour Foundation and the UN World Food Program for the support and assure them that Ghana will own the process and implement as expected. Accordingly, I have the great honor to declare the Ghana Zero Hunger Strategic Review Report duly launched. <laughs> to serve as a guide in our endeavor to eradicate hunger and malnutrition in Ghana. May God bless us all in our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. Ladies and gentlemen.